heartiest welcome to Global Talk Show by Business Bar Academy, Netherlands. And today, again, from the beautiful country, United States, we have an amazing, incredible, and a mind-blowing guest who is doing wonders in LinkedIn. And that we are going to talk about in this lovely journey. Let me introduce my special guest. He is none other than Omar Zumpari host. And he is here with us with a lot of requests, with a lot of demands, I must say. So welcome, Omar, to our show. It's been a great privilege to host you. Hello. Thank you, Dr. Supriya. I'm excited to be here. Yes, I am Omar from Zumpari, that popular show on YouTube. And I'm excited to be here. Thank you so much. Well, the Zoom party, when we say, Omar, I am so, so, you know, enthusiastic and so much question coming. And to my audience mind also, what exactly is Zoom party? And what exactly is your life journey? So without taking any pause, any delay, let's start this beautiful journey of Global Talk Show by Business Bar Academy Netherlands. And straight away, Omar, kindly introduce your incredible, loveliest journey to everyone. Awesome, I appreciate that, Doctor. Yes, my name is Omar. I am joining you live from lovely, beautiful Arizona. Been here over uh, 25 years and in the States before that even longer. Uh, I am a civil engineering graduate from Arizona State. I've been schooled here. I've been all over the U.S. and the different places and just enjoy having fun, meeting people, and having a global network all over the world. Uh, and I came through LinkedIn a few years ago and became more upgraded with that by meeting people. Also, at the time of the pandemic, I uh, love game shows. I've always wanted to host game shows, and I decided I love Jeopardy, and I love all these game shows that were on TV, uh, and I'm sure you know the Millionaire Show that comes in India as well. I actually watched the opening that aired a few days ago, right, with the your host there, uh, and I decided to put a game together, like a Jeopardy game, test it out with my friends, and uh, in fact, that we're speaking right now, it is airing on YouTube. You can check it out on Zoom Party on YouTube. Uh, the first season is airing now. I waited three years for editing and stuff, but season one, season two, and season three are there, and season four will be starting out in about a month or a month and a half from now. Uh, but essentially, Zoom Party is a game show with categories and point values. So you have a category about birds for 400 points. I read it to you. And Dr. Sapria was a guest on the show. So she was uh, excellent on that. So that's in a, essence what Zoom Party is. It's a game show with categories, point values, and you win and you move on to the next round. Sometimes there's prizes. Sometimes there's other uh, activities that you would win. And it's a fun, fun activity show. Well, this is really awesome. And I would love to share with my global audience. Last month, I was a guest in Omar Show Zoom Party. And trust me, folks, I really, really enjoyed the show because I was just like feeling, uh, you can say, of, uh, not an interview or not a, a game show, just like I am playing in real. So I will request everyone because Zoom Party is going to get again another events, upcoming shows in the coming months. If you really want to be a part of it, kindly you can contact over and he can guide you what to be done and how you can participate in his game shows. And it is going to be a, again a mega event which I had witnessed and I had participated to. So this is awesome Absolutely. over. Yeah. What I was going to say is that, yes, the, so I'm going to be putting a promo out within a week or two and then an application that you guys will put out and who's interested. Um, 
I'm probably going to be looking for about nine to ten players, maybe more to expand it. Basically, it's a category with point values. Once you do that round, you make it, you move on to the next round and another final round. And then some of these are taped or will design, it might be a live final, and then you win a prize. So, yes, absolutely. Thank you for that. Yes, I'm sure, I'm sure over people when they will watch this Zoom buddy, wow, they will just get one side knowledge, one side their general knowledge, and one side what a mind blowing fun we have. And so much enthusiasm on your show, and we just really liked every moment of Zubari. So let's revise and let's revive. Well, moving to this lovely show with Omar. Omar, now everybody wants to know besides being a Zubari host, what kind of, let's talk about some challenges, some hush, push, rush challenges, which <laughs> you have faced in your life. And the most important thing, how did you overcome those challenges and made yourself a strong person? Absolutely. That's a definitely a good question. Challenges are something that I think everybody comes across, right? In life, in family, and uh, that's something that we've always come across, either it be technology issues or health issues, whatever it is. And uh, I tend to focus that on, on prayer also on God and also family, family and support, right? Family or friends that support you are always there to help you. If you have an issue or have something, you can always contact somebody, a family member, and you always have that one person who's always calling you and wanting to know, is there anything going on? Are you doing okay? Uh, and that kind of stuff is what I that helps me out, you know, uh, but in general, you know, I've had a nice, good life, healthy life. Exercising also helps. Biking, I like to bike. Uh, eating you know, sweets, chocolate, ice cream, <laughs> all of that, you know, anything healthy stuff, you know, that stuff. But also fruits, vegetables, uh, have an active social life, talk to people. All of that really helps in terms of when chaos and things happen in your life, so. Absolutely. That's that's really great, Omar. And I'm sure people watching this live session and those who are going to watch this video later, so whenever they will feel stressed out, they are going to have chocolates, they are going to talk on social media, <laughs> and they are going to follow Omar's guidelines, if you can say, his footsteps. So this is yes. amazing. And I really loved when you said, uh, when you're believing in God, and Omar, this is really, really great. When you believe in your Almighty, your God, your Lord, your trust, your belief creates miracles. And we all know that we are the miracles and we are creating miracles day by day. So this is really lovely family support, your trust, your belief that what helps you in coming out of those challenges. And I really appreciate this. And I'm sure people would love to get into this enthusiasm whenever they will feel any low or knee down with their challenges, they are going to remember your footsteps. So this is amazing and awesome, Palmer. I really, really, really appreciate it. Wow. Great job. Now, Omar, as we all know, besides you're a host, no doubt in that, you're a wonderful host, which even I had witnessed in your Zoom party show. But yes. if a question uh, which is popping up in my mind, besides being a host and you are also a civil engineering background, you also belong to civil engineering background. That's really amazing. So this journey from civil engineering to a host and so many uh, you know qualities like you're a technical trainer and other stuff. So now this is the time to know about your profession what exactly you are into this profession. So kindly enlighten your great work. Yeah, absolutely. That's also good, important. Yeah, so I transitioned from civil engineering, which I got my background in, in Arizona State, the Sun Devils. <laughs> so, uh, and that was back in 2010, so almost 13, 14 years now. It's been a while, right? Uh, so I worked a little bit in government and I worked a little bit in private for that. 
And then there were some economic issues that happened that there wasn't much jobs. And plus, I'm a social person, so I decided to go into education and, and training and teaching. Uh, I worked a little bit in that field. It was fun and great. I'm also tutoring at the side, and then I transitioned in 2020 to the current company I'm working with, which is called T-Tech. Uh, with T-Tech, it's more of a, uh, you're helping customers, you're helping uh, different clients, especially with the, the Blue Shield and, and the um, program aspects of it, and also the training. And I got promoted in terms of training uh, different associates in that field of using the programs and helping them out. So that is something great that I'm enjoying. I've been with them for about three years now, uh, and T-Tech is a great company. It has a lot of flexibility benefits, uh, and I've been loving it then. Yeah, it's the company that I've been with, and I think I will stick around with it for a while. So there's always different features and different things that will make you grow and move up in there, um, and it depends. I mean, it's not for everybody, but it fits for me. So that's where I'm at. I have a little bit of engineering background, a little bit of teaching, hosting. I also started a LinkedIn Live show, so I'll be doing more shows coming up here. I've had two, four or five people on there. It's very interesting. And so there's a little bit of my background about my education and job. <laughs> well, here I can say that always listen to your passion because I can see Omar is passionate about being host, being speaking. And I'm so amazed when I saw his background is civil engineering. So there and then I decided, okay, this passion has yeah. drifted him from an engineering background to being a host. So here I will say my global audience, listen to your passion, listen what makes you feel happy and choose your career according to your quality, your will. Because over nowadays and even so many people, I am seeing youngsters, so many people are following their career according to the wish of their grandparents, or parents, but mostly they are lacking, they're not listening what they want to become, what their dreams are, what their desires are. And that's most important in life. And I'm so happy that you listen to your heart, you listen to your passion. And here I can say the best Zoom party host is here because of her passion, because of her dreams, and because of her, you know, the uh, hosting qualities. So awesome. I wish you all the best for your upcoming shows. And I'm so, so excited to see the first promo. You can say the work you are, your work you are doing. So that is great to know that. Well, Omar. Awesome. You yeah, too. I wanted to comment narrated. on that too. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, you're right on what you said there. Because uh, a lot of the students or a lot of the kids in high school class don't know what they want to do. They get pressured from their parents. And education changed right now, right? I was lucky yeah. that I have good parents and good family who encouraged me to do that. I didn't know when get me to high school what I want to study, right? I was good at math and science, so I was kind of like, okay, you should maybe study engineering or study something. Uh, but I wasn't really good into politics or any of that. So then it worked for me, you know, the first year, either architecture or engineering. But a lot of the students definitely now are on their phones at age 10. Uh, they're up until 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning, which is another global Agreed. issue you know um, i've had students that i'm teaching them and then i see them online three four in the morning and they're not sleeping and if they're studying yeah but that kind of stuff and then i go talk to the parents and the parents are like oh i shouldn't do that and then two three weeks later they're still doing the same issue so it's also an educational thing right it's not just um okay you're doing your profession you do but you also have to make sure the kids are involved because if the kids are doing uh, that's what they're supposed to do, then they're not going to have issues. So that's why I like mentoring and helping kids because you're helping them and teaching them in a way, but it's also ultimate to the parents. If the parents are not able to do that, it's, it's not a goal. So I wanted to come on that. Thank you, doctor. So this is also one of your great quality where you are being as a mentor, as a coach, and you are being as a great teacher. And I'm sure you are enlightening your students career in a very enhanced way. Omar, I really appreciate you for this. And people and students who want to get contact with Omar for any sort of coachings which he's taking, you can contact him on LinkedIn and you can leverage the power of wisdom 
from Omas and make your life the bestest one, the bestest version. So thank you so much, Omar, for enlightening your profession, your job, and the work you do is really awesome. Well, Perfect. if I move ahead, now it's time to know what are Omar's plans, dreams, and you can say mission, vision. So kindly, let's open this part. And we are so excited to know another exciting part of Omar's dream. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We all have dreams, don't we? Yeah. And so my dreams and my wishes, there's a couple of them. For the work side of it, the T-Tech side, I would remain with them. It seems like it's complete. But also uh, travel. That's another thing that I want to do when I ever get a chance. I want to travel to Europe or other places. Uh, but with my show, the Zoom party, I want to see it get a little bit more global, have more people want to participate. I know from season one to season four, it's definitely grown more. Uh, and I've had over 400 subscribers. So if you get a chance, check out Zoom party on YouTube. Uh, there's over 60 videos on there. Uh, I have all educational stuff. Uh, learning and helping people out, people from India, participated kids, people from Kosovo, Turkey. And uh, it's a lot of fun. And that's where I'd like to see it. I'd like to see this education go everywhere to the classrooms, help people learn. Uh, and that's, you know, some of my dreams that I have, you know, traveling, absolutely, uh, work, having a good family as well in the future. God willing. And uh, yeah, that's where I see myself there. Definitely, doctor. That's definitely a good question. Yeah. <laughs> we need to ponder on that all the time, right? We need to think what we got to do. <laughs> yes, of course. And these are really, Omar, when I look into your dreams, your mission, your vision, I must say yeah. that we all should have a positive mindset for our goals. And if we won't have any particular goal or motto or mission or vision, then I think we, we can't make those successful paths. We can't trace those paths. And we can't be a role model in front of the world. So I wish you all the best for your mission, for your vision to accomplish. And the Zoom party shows, which they are going to come in the upcoming months, are once again going to be another hit show. And people would love to participate and for participation in the Zoom party upcoming shows of Omar, kindly contact him. You can be one of the guests and you can win so many lucky draws. So everything is waiting. Don't miss this golden opportunity. Awesome one, Omar. Well, Perfect. Yeah, absolutely. This is, Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is all about your dreams, your mission. And we are so, so happy that upcoming shows, you know, uh, my global audience would love to know about your promo and they must be eagerly waiting for that. So everybody is waiting for that first poster where they can participate, where they can have a lot of fun with knowledge. And that I can guarantee because when I participated in over Zoom parties show, trust me, folks, I was not at all good in my general knowledge, but when I was a guest, when I was a comp competitor over there, I started looking into my GK general knowledge book, internet searching. And that has increased a little bit my general knowledge. So it is in a way enhancing your knowledge, your power, along with lots of entertainment and fun. So for me, I can say a big yes to Zoom party upcoming shows for over. Let's make it and let's break the records of season one. So go for it, get for it. And winning or losing is never matter for any game shows. It's all about enjoying every moment and learn what you have missed. And again, you can make it. So awesome one, Omar. Really enjoying your show and their shows also. Well, before... Mm -hmm. We, I say goodbye to Omar and my lovely audience. Omar, even though your all answers are so motivating, so inspiring, but still your beautiful, powerful message still awaiting. So kindly enlighten your powerful message to the world. Absolutely. Definitely. Thank you. Definitely, doctor, for having me opportunity. 
to come on here and talk about my show as well. Um, I just wanted to make a point on that too. Yeah, if you participate on the program, you don't know what you know. You know, a lot of kids, a lot of adults, when they see it, they say, oh, I heard of it. And then they shout that answer. You are, they're correct. So uh, definitely try to participate if you want. It's always a fun interactive game for sure. It's either you win or lose and there's no hard feelings. Um, and some last minute uh, words of wisdom, I would say to you guys, I'm a very young guy, but um, definitely have a lot of mentors above me who always taught me stuff and uh, words of wisdom always. Don't um, stay in touch with what happens. Life always changes. Uh, if a certain item or certain thing isn't with you anymore, uh, you need to learn to let go. Uh, but always try to smile. Always try to uh, follow up with people, see how they're doing. If they don't respond, that's up to them. Um, but eventually, just have fun. Have this life is short, and we will. Um, we're not going to be here too long. And just don't have grudges with people. Uh, try to make friends. Make amends with your family and uh, have a wonderful time. We, we're enjoying it. And thank you, Dr. Supriya. It's been a blast. I am in outer space right now and I'll be heading back to Earth soon. <laughs> thank you so much, Umar, for coming to our show. It's been a great, great pleasure and honor again for me to host you over here and also enlightening this global talk show with your words of wisdom, power of wisdom, and of course, your experiences of the life that really, really matters a lot. So thank you so much once again. And thank you, my global audience, for always being with us. Stay happy. Hail and Bye-bye for now. Thank you.